you guys hi hi welcome back um so today i woke up and had an epiphany okay let's let's talk weight loss let's talk lifestyle change let's talk um why am I not able to stay focused right now? Why am I not able to lose weight? Why am I failing on my journey right now? And the reason is, is because I'm setting myself up for failure. I am putting all these restrictions on myself, trying to follow certain plans that I've never tried to follow before. You know, like, oh, I'm just gonna drink green smoothies for the rest of my life or I'm just going to you know go in here I'm going to start doing floor exercises sit-ups push-ups scissors whatever it is which I would love to do but my mind won't let me and my body follows suit so if my mind won't let me my body's not gonna do it and I am just like I'm tired of failing okay so let's just be real the last two weeks I've really been failing myself on this weight weight loss journey and it's like I feel like I kind of got sidetracked because it's like oh you know I really really want to lose this amount by this certain time so I need to do this and not eat that and it's just not working for me I'm not doing anything <laughs> basically I'm not doing anything to lose weight and you know since I have lost you know about 40 pounds now I'm more comfortable with myself, but it's also like, okay, you still have like 40 more pounds to go. And I've completely just lost sight of my, what works for me. Let's just say that I've lost sight of what works for me. Feeling like, oh, I need to do something different, switch it up, change it. And the fact of the matter is I need to go back to doing what works for me. So. Right now, I am headed to the grocery store to buy all the things that are healthy enough for me that I like to eat. You know, I love fruit smoothies. Um, I love lean cuisines because they're easy and low in calorie. I love salads and, you know, baked chicken and broccoli. Now, for me, it's not a problem for me to not have carbs. I don't have to have potatoes, I don't have to have rice, you know, none of that stuff. I'm fine with just meat and vegetables. I can have steak and broccoli or chicken and cauliflower, whatever. So that works for me. I know there are some people out there where it's like, you tell them to stop eating carbs and they'll go into a, have a fit. So I have to do what works for me. <laughs> and I'm ready to get back on track. I hate doing floor exercises. I hate doing sit-ups and push-ups and all that stuff and lifting weights. That's not me. I'm a cardio girl. You know, I like to walk every day. I like to hike, you know, stuff like that. Do the elliptical. That's what works for me. Why? Because I like to do it. So we are going to, I say we, you know, because I feel like you're on this journey with me. <laughs> but we are going to get back on track we're going to get back to business of course it's monday and i'm not afraid of failure because i'm going to do the things that i like to do the things that work for me and so i know i won't fail because i'm going to be enjoying what i'm doing so that's what i'm doing this morning I'm about to get me some food. I will show you guys what I get. And then as I continue on through this week, I'm going to um, take you on some walks and stuff with me as well and just show you what I'm eating and do another weigh-in and before and after pictures. So I'm excited because I'm about to get back to my original weight loss plan and helping me to maintain this lifestyle journey. And that's the thing, it's like, everybody's journey is different you can't always just follow somebody else's program and think you know because it worked for them that it's gonna work for you um, because a lot of times it doesn't sometimes you get lucky and yes you know you can follow someone else's plan and it works for you but for me personally no um, I have to do my own plan and I have to do what works for me so 
that is what I am going to do. Um, I hope you guys in this new year are <laughs> doing better on your journeys than I have been doing. I started out really good. I started out with a bang, you know, doing the green smoothies, feeling really good, clean my system out and stuff. But then after a few days, it was like, uh, okay, I'm sick of this. <laughs> so, you know, just if you guys are going through the same thing, let me know in the comments, you know, maybe, you know, share some recipes or some different, you know, things that you can do or other people might be looking forward to do. But for me personally, I'm going back to plan A because that's what works for me. And I really want to get back on track because I do have more weight to lose. And I am tired of being stagnant, really. That's what I am. I'm stagnant. And then YouTube is going to come out with all these new rules, you know, trying to keep me from reaching my dreams. <laughs> trying to bust everybody's bubble, you know. It's like, really? So, you know what, you guys, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching my channel, watching my videos. You know, I watch a lot of you guys' videos and stuff. Whenever I have some free time, I try to go ahead and just check out, you know, and watch some of you guys' full videos and stuff, especially now with the watch time. You know, it's a lot. So I really try to support all of you guys. So just um, pray for me. Pray for me because, you know, this weight loss thing ain't no joke. It's really not. If somebody granted me three wishes, one of them would be, you know, to be the perfect size and to not have to be on a weight loss journey for the rest of my life. But <laughs> that's just the way it is. So, anywho, let me stop running my mouth. And I'm about to go shopping. And I will see you guys in a bit and show you what it is that I eat. <laughs> I'm doing my meal prep for the week. I love chicken wraps and I love to put a slice of bacon in my baked chicken wraps. So that's why I'm making bacon. Um, and I just cook it all to last me for, you know, a week or two. So when I make my wraps, I can just throw a slice of bacon in there, cut up a piece of baked chicken, put in my veggies and all that stuff, and then wrap it up and I'm good to go. So this is how I do my meal prep. I'm also gonna make some broccoli. So I can have baked chicken and broccoli whenever I get hungry and that'll give me a good start to get back on my normal plan. So I'm a realist. I'm not even going to sit here in front and act like I'm not going to put bacon in my chicken wraps because I am going to put a slice of bacon in my chicken wraps and it's going to be delicious and I'm still going to lose weight. Now I also am going back to keeping my food diary. Somehow I got away from keeping a food diary where I just stopped writing down everything I was eating and how much water I was drinking and how many calories I burned from exercise. So I'm going back to keeping a food diary because obviously that worked for me. So we're going back to the food diary. And as you can see, I'm still going to incorporate the occasional green smoothie just to help to keep me normal and keep me clean inside and always drinking water 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 never so, gave up the water 
and I'm still gonna have a green smoothie every once in a while, so. That's good. Now, let's just keep it 100% real, you guys. 100% real, okay? I got my broccoli cooking on the stove because I'm serious and about to get, get it together. You wanna see what I eat when I don't meal prep and I don't go to the grocery store and keep the proper foods in the house for me to eat? You wanna see what I eat? Okay. This is a no-no, a big no-no. This is like delicious carb city. So this pizza is going in the freezer because I do have willpower. So every blue moon, you know, I like to have a slice of pizza, but this leftover pizza is going in the freezer and I'm not fooling with it for a Just while. Just keeping it real. That's why I end up doing stuff like this is because when I'm lazy and I don't meal prep and cook my chicken and cook my broccoli, pre-cook my bacon, make sure that I have lean cuisines on hand. Pizza Hut, I need a delivery. <laughs> so, you know what? No more, no more, no more. We're about to get it together. This is a quick and easy food that a lot of people succumb to because you don't even have to leave your house to eat it. This but is no bueno for me, okay? This right here ends up <laughs> right there. so we can see where we're starting this week so we can move forward and make some progress, hopefully. So 194.8. Actually, that's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. So that is where we are starting this week. Okay, you guys, so as you saw, I really haven't been working hard or pushing to lose weight like I was supposed to be after the holidays, but thank God it didn't get completely out of hand before I decided to go back to my original, you know, plan of how I was eating and walking and hiking and all that stuff um, every day. So now I'm ready, I'm excited, and I'm going to really, really get back focused so that I can get some progress going because I really, really do want to reach my goals, um, not just for number wise, not just for vanity reasons, but also for health. I do want to be as healthy as I possibly can. So I'm just taking those baby steps, making those small changes to get to where I need to be. So thank you so much for watching my video. I'm not even gonna do before and after pictures because as you can see, I'm still fat. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do any before and after I'm working pictures. on it though, um, you guys, I'm working on it. So just um, if, continue to follow me on my journey. I promise I'm gonna make some progress real soon. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching, thank you for checking in. and. Hope you guys are doing well on your journeys because I know it is not easy. But don't give up. Stick with it and we'll get there. So thanks for watching. Toodles.